Hi, I'm James from Tutiga. We're here today with one of our demo boats and it's time to give it a service. So it'll be a good opportunity to show you how to service your skeg system. First of all, we take the skeg line here and then we just release it fully to allow the skeg to drop down. And then we turn the boat over. Okay, now we, to remove the skeg, we literally grab hold of the blade and we give it a firm pull, which allows it to be pulled out. And then with your finger, also pull out the uh, bungee, which allows it to spring back. Clear out any debris. As in here, we've got a little bit of weed, which has been caught up and dried up in there. Um, sometimes you might get bigger blockages, but in this instance, just reach in, pull anything out. If you really need to, you can blast it out with a hose or something like that. And now you've got the, the skeg released. Um, if you're struggling with movement here, um, some of it might have seized up. We found that uh, maybe a lot of grit has got jammed in there. It's a simple task of with a, just a four mil Allen key, you go inside the skeg wheel here where you can see the head is and holding onto it firmly, just unwind the bolt. So with the bolt undone, you now remove the skeg wheels. You see you've got the bolt and the other side of the faceplate is the nut. It's worth checking at this point, you haven't got any deep scoring. Um, sometimes we've uh, used heavily on the beach, the sand can get trapped in there and um, cause big scoring, which is causing the blade to jam. In this case, you just take a bit of fine sandpaper, this is 600 grit, and maybe just run it round quickly and remove any scratches or burrs that might be causing the skeg to bind. And also on the face areas, of the, the skeg blade. Lastly, just wipe it down with a cloth, just remove any debris. And equally with the wheels. Now with the wheels clean, um, we'll just reassemble the skeg system. Put uh, the wheel underneath, and then you see there's the locator pins that then you pop together, and it should be firm in, in their location. Put the nut on one side, just drop that into the hole, hold your finger over, turn it over, and drop the bolt in from the other side, and just nip up the bolt. This doesn't have to be super tight, but just nipped up to ensure that uh, the bolt is secure. Now we take the skeg, just make sure it's the right way around. Um, you wrap the bungee back over there because it's got out of shape. You pull the bungees around the front of the wheel, ensuring that the skeg line goes in between the two pieces of bungee. And you push the skeg blade down between the recesses on the, in the skeg box. And then you take the bungee and you stretch it out and push it down into the last two notches uh, at the back of the skeg box. So now you've got the skeg all back in position. With the bungee at the correct tension, it should back up quite nicely and freely. Um, if you find it's not springing back up, what you need to do is take this bungee. If it's, it's a bit weak, you can pull a little bit of bungee through and uh, move the knot down. That will tighten the bungee up and allow a bit more force. Equally, if you're finding it really hard to, to um, 
pull, pull your skeg up. It might be that you just need to loosen the bungee because you're pulling too hard against it. So we'll put that back in now. And that's just a nice tension. You should be able to really easily move it back and forth with it springing upright. So hopefully now we'll just remove that, flip the boat back over. And then you should have nice free movement from the central console area. So with your skeg system back together, you're ready to hit the water. One last thing is if you'd like to see any more resources as how to look after your Tatika kayak, then uh, leave a message underneath the video and we'll look to get it done. We're here to try and make sure you get a fantastic lifetime out of your product and a little bit of servicing will ensure that it will last as long as it possibly can. Super, thanks for watching.